Machine learning solutions are often considered as black boxes. Consider a tool for classifying patients at risk of a heart attack. You start with a medical record, transform it into a feature vector, input this to a trained model, and get as output either a high risk or a low risk response. Problem is that such predictions are hard to interpret for humans. Let's take a higher risk patient which the model correctly identifies. Wouldn't it be great if the model could tell us how to change that prediction? In other words, transform the original instance so when it is input back to the classifier, this was which is the previous prediction. Of course, not every input feature can be tweaked. For example, the doctor may tell the patient to increase fitness activity but can ask to reduce her age. Ok, but how can we provide such insights? The machine learning expert may know what's in the box. We focus on three base ensemble classifiers. Let's take a true negative instance. Each instance follows a route to leave path on each tree. On some trees, those paths end up on a negative leaf, while on some others, it follows paths that lead to positive leaves. Each node of the tree is a Boolean test on a specific feature value. Therefore, each path is just a sequence of Boolean tests on feature values. Let's consider only those trees where the instance ends up in a negative leaf as those needs to be fixed to switch the overall prediction. Then, take all the positive paths of those trees. And for each path, tweak the value of the features to satisfy all the Boolean tests. In this way, we obtain a set of possible transformations of the original input feature vector. But wait! Fixing the prediction on a single tree may not fix the overall prediction. We only select candidate transformations that fix overall prediction. Plus, some features are harder than others to tweak. That's why we must associate the cost and the tolerance to each transformation and pick the most convenient. Luckily, at Yahoo we have a solution to this problem. We use it with our machine learning model for predicting the quality of ads we show to our users and to tell advertisers which ad features they should change and how to improve the quality of their campaigns. Eventually, everyone is happier. Advertisers, our users and of course Yahoo.